all right what's going on guys we're getting ready to go live on youtube so right now the only one that'll see this part will be the replay we're setting up our live stream i got fp here and i got the gf here too she's hanging out she's gonna watch us and see uh what's going on tonight and you guys thought she was fake i tell you <clears throat> I've been hacking my head off all, all day. Remind me to turn my phone back on. Okay. Yes, so I told you guys that GF is real. So we're just going to call tonight Open Mic. Because I really don't have a topic to talk about. <clears throat> so hopefully you guys will call in. Last last week we had 560 some people thought oh, watching at one point. Huh? We had about five. We had 560 some people. What the hell is my number? 770? Yeah, 776 4648. What, your phone number? Well, that's the, the call in line. 776 4648. Because I don't use my, my actual number number for the call in line. I, I have uh, one of those side numbers. Those, oh, those, God, those pre. That. It's like a talk and text, like pre internet number. I would put on your on your channel. Join us tonight and put my channel so people could Almost, guys. We're almost ready to go live. Are you telling me that or you that? No, I'm telling you that. 
It'll be on the replay. <clears throat> Alright. Um, and uh, when I send out the notification, the link to join us, so I want to see who, uh, so people, new people a shot to call it, or to go live, like, side by side with us, I have it in the description. Oh. Alright. So, put on your, go on your channel, make a post. Go on your, your channel, make a post. Join us live and put my link. YouTube.com slash at SGW Entertainment NEPA. And put it on a post so people see it on your subscribers. So you know to join us. <clears throat> okay, I didn't know half of that, what you just said. Not because I was talking to FP. I'm being taught little by little how to use my phone. <clears throat> Alright guys, we're getting ready to go live. All right, we are live, and we already have someone watching. So, hello, welcome tonight with a special, a special edition of Outside the Box. Tonight is going to be open night, so open mic night. So, the phone lines are open: five seven zero seven seven six four six four eight, and also, uh, also, I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, hold on. Sorry, .com. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to still teach you FP how to do this. I'm learning. He's learning. Hold on, guys. Hang on, guys. Okay. All right. I had to get. I had to get FP set up. To, he's on his channel. <clears throat> he's on his channel. Uh, posted. Hey, come join us live. He had to put my, you know, my channel link. So, all right. All right. So we're good to go tonight, guys. Hopefully, you guys get. You guys see the notification. Come join us. Be a part of the show. Okay. You could be, I have it set up to do side by side. I hope the link went through. Because I don't know how to go back and get the link. Um, hey, P, did you get the notification we're live? Huh? Yeah. You, okay. All right, oh, do you have your earbud in? Yeah. Okay, that's why I didn't hear your phone. So make sure check, make sure there's the link to go live. That's check, what I'm okay. For. All right, guys. So tonight, since it's open night, Mike, plus tonight, we are going to try. One of FP's favorites, Taki, Taki Waves Fuego. Those are my kids' favorite. Oh, this, is, this, is, this is FP's kids' favorite. And we, I don't know if this is hot or not. Is this hot or not? I don't know. And we got Molly here. She is here with us. Yep, you know Molly's got to be here with us. No, Molly, you're not getting any Takis. Come on, down. Oh, come on, you can photo your video bomb later. Okay. So tonight, what's going on? Okay, already we already got six, six watching. Thank you. And just <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I can't get rid of this cough time. I'm coughing my ass off. Um just just to roll back from last week, we had people watching from Canada. I hope they're here with us tonight too from, from Canada. Give a shout out to Canada. Jacob and his buddies from Iowa. Was Iowa, right? Was it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay, it was Iowa. Hope uh hope you guys had a great week. Hope you're joining us tonight. Again, be a part of the show, 570-776-4648. And if I did it right, in the notifications for the YouTube, for the notifications, if you're subscribers, you should see. There's a link to join, be a part of the show. I hope I did it right. If not, also, you know, if I if I screwed that up, because I we're still trying to do things out. The FP, did you, did you see the notification? Go to YouTube notifications. Oh. Let me see if it works. I just found it, actually. And is there the link to go live? Okay. 
All right. Um, okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry, it took me a minute. I'm gonna deny it because we're not gonna bring you on yet. But when you're ready, come in. You, okay. you click. I want other people to give a shot. All right. So guys, in the description on YouTube, the subscribers that that would get this, click that link. I'll be come be a guest. Talk to us on the show. I'll make sure my volume's up. What's up, Fred? What's going on, buddy? Yeah, we just came on for, uh, hopefully, we have a good night like we did last week. Last week, we had an ass-kicking night. We had a good night. We had a lot of people calling in or checking in with us from all over the country, from Canada. <clears throat> so, yeah, and uh, like I said, tonight, we're going to be we're gonna be trying uh, FP's kids like this Taki Waves. Takis. I never had them before. So, and yep, Molly's here with us. Uh, you're not, no, Molly, come on. <coughs> Alright, so. Open topic, guys, whatever, whatever you want to talk about. Um, I had a good week last, last week we had a great, last, well, last week we had a great show. Okay, I'm still, they gave me the, so when you do a live show and you, and you, you end it, it'll tell you how many people viewed. 567 people checked out the show. Yeah, that was amazing. That was awesome. Uh, I'm great. I thank all of you guys who watched in last week. And we're watching in this week if you're if you're you know different guys, gals. Um, so let's uh, let's see what we start off today. Molly wants some takis. She, oh yeah, she probably does. I don't know if these are hot or not though, so I don't I don't want to give her my, give her any. Um, Way too hot for Molly. Too hot for Molly, yeah. Um, yeah, Molly, you're sending her set or something, you know? So let's, uh... Okay, how... Okay. GF, you want, you want, to, you want to answer this question? Hello? GF? Uh, if I can. Yeah, it says here, okay, from uh, Bell... Bella's Gam... Gam, Gam, I think? I'm sorry, I'm still trying to... It's hard to see on my phone. All right, Skeeter's here. What's up, Skeeter? Okay, so Skeeter. how how did you and the GF meet, and now, and how long are you together? Want to take that one? Um, we met when I was like nineteen. We went out for about six months. Broke up. Broke up. Didn't really get to stay friends, and then I asked him to join me on pick friends on face on Facebook. Yep. Uh, we talked for about six months, met up, went out, went on a couple <laughs> dates, and we've been together for about a year and a half. Yeah, so yeah. So so you people out there that say, I'm never going to find a, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, I'm I living proof. I not boyfriend. Well, you know, if it's a girl, boyfriend, boy, girlfriend, you know what I mean. It's, uh, Definitely it Definitely was not planned, it just worked itself out. It did not it was like we had to relearn each other's like because we haven't seen each other for years so who we were back when we were like 19 or 20 she was 19 i was 21. yeah she was younger than i was she's still younger than i am um it's uh yeah it, it it's we had that we started all over again learning each other's new quirks and perks and you know, all that other stuff and and you know we've been we've been going good Skeeter made some awesome chili today, he said. All right. Um, so, yeah, so, so, Bell's Gam, and if I'm not, if I'm, I'm hoping I'm reading that right. FP, is that Bell's Gam? Is that, am I seeing that right? What's that? Bell's Gam, is that who's in the chat asking the question? Looks like it says Bell's Gam. Uh, let me see. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my chat watch is not watching the chat. Sorry, I'm watching, guys. I'm watching. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, so. It looks like on my phone it says Bell's Gam. I'm getting a laptop. Yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's what it is. Bell's Gam. 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 Okay, and I forgot to put this up in the link, and I'm, I could kick myself in the ass. All right, but I want to talk to you guys about this really quick. If you go in the shop zone, www.sgwentertainment.com slash sgwshopzone. Go to the car accessories. Okay, and I mine, mine's ordered. Mine it sounds the way it should be here Tuesday. All right, you guys can get now for your car the official outside the box plate frames. Okay, support the show. 
show off the car pizza by question. getting the huh? Pizza question. Who's who has a pizza question? For a friend P in the chair. Oh, all right, Jay. That Detroit pizza from Sony Bell Fest is great. How was it? <clears throat> okay, so. <coughs> Sorry, I've been coughing all day and I can't stop. Um. Okay, so I've never been to Detroit, so I never officially had Detroit style pizza. But. Uh, his name's Tommy from Cecilia Belfast. He's the owner. He said this is his version, and it's pretty close. He said it's a blend of cheeses. It's a different way they, they bake the dough. Um, he didn't give me... And what I what I saw over this, I just saw hard fly. Um, what I saw... You know like on a normal Sicilian pizza, around pizza, there's sauce all over? Well, it looks like... Now, he had it in, in eight cuts, four and four. It looks like he took a ladle and went up with... Like with the uh, sauce. Next Friday, the video will be up on the YouTube channel, so you'll be able to see the video review next next this well this coming Friday, um, which will be uh, the second, right? Yeah, February second. Um, all right, you know what? I wanna I wanna jump in. I'm gonna, oh boy, we're gonna, I'm gonna, we're, I'm gonna jump in the taki. No, Molly, you're not getting a taki. Back, come on. And up, oh, there's Molly. Molly says hi, everybody. Really, Molly wants my taki. But again, if it's going to be that hot. No, 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 no. Oh, these even look hot. Yeah. Look it. Look, no, back, Molly. Look it. For the for the replay, for the live stream. That, that, just, that just has the look of hotness. Okay. No. No, Molly. It's just, no, I don't even have it. <laughs> Kind of has that, um, you take a bite at first and it's like, eh, but then it's like, like it slowly starts to kick in. Yeah. Swear, would you like to try a Taki? No. <laughs> I'll try one if you want. I'll take one. Well, are you taste testing this tonight too? Yeah. I'll okay. Try it. All right, so, uh, I haven't had, because they do have like multiple brands of Taki. This looks like, like the, is this the Fuego brand? This is, no, like, there's like, uh, chips, well, I don't know, it says Fuego. Oh. Chips, Molly, like, no, you cannot. This is like too hot for you. Corn. No! This is too hot for you, bro. No. No, stop it. It's too hot. Yeah, this has some, this has some kick to it. Yeah. It has a little bit of fire it, behind it. It has like a vinegary taste, I think. Right, yeah, it vinegar. tastes a little bit of vinegar, but it has that... And then the heat comes. Yeah. Molly, no. No, no. No, uh-uh. Stop it. Down. Down, good girl. No, you're not having this. No. Hold out, guys. That was not the door. That was not the door. That was Jay's cup of hot cocoa. It's alright. Come on. My attack dog. Alright. When Molly hears any type of noise like this, you think it's the um, door barking? That's a good question. Well, what's the question? Okay. We got friend P. Are they hotter than or as hot as Andy Cap's uh, hot fries? I remember those. I those remember Andy Caps hot. hot fries. I think these might be hotter. Yeah, hot Andy Caps. You could, I could eat like a whole bag. Well, even like even when I first tried Andy Caps hot fries, I eat like five or six. Yeah. And it'd be like, okay, now it's starting to get a little. But you could you could taste this right off one chip. Yeah. You sure you don't want to try one, honey? <laughs> you shake your head, going like, no, go to hell, buddy. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Um. But hey, bus stop. What's up? You moved. You moved Wednesday. Well, I'm glad you're here today. Um, we got ten people watching the show so far. Thank you. You ten people are awesome. Um, we got one like. Ugh. Guys, like and say if you if you're watching the show for the first time, like and subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel grow. Okay. Also, please, 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 if you have not done. Go to False Paranormals page channel, youtube.com backslash at False Paranormal. Okay, his profile picture has his kitty. So like his channel too. Let's let's build the channels. Cause next in the summertime, 
we're gonna be doing we're gonna be going doing uh when we go do our road trips we're gonna be on we're gonna be going from both channels night in a blue bag are ridiculously hot this is this is a purple bag this is purple no, Molly, you are not getting a Taki. It's too hot, Dodge. Oh, the blue ones, yeah, they're pretty hot, too, but they have a flavor for them. No. Uh. Your kids willingly eat those? How did you end up calling us about modifying your order of protection? Oh, yeah. We got some, we got some heat going tonight, guys. Now, the GF and I just came back from Red Robin. We are at Red Robin tonight. And uh, she had the, she had the, what you have, catfish? No, it's well, just fried fish. Fried fish and chips, fries. I got the, no, Ma, this is too hot for you. No, too hot. I got the monster burger, which is a double burger with like, like maize, lettuce, tomato, pickles, ketchup. The shit was like, like this, the shit was like this big. And uh, you got your endless fries. And we broke down and got desserts. No, Molly. Mm -mm. She got a caramel sundae. I got the brownie sundae. Yeah, P, these are these are a little hot. I'm probably the only person at my age who orders from the kid menu. And my kids, not that I get them a lot for them because of how spicy they are. And there was a big thing at first when they first came out, like, like be careful, but don't buy them all the time for your kids. My daughter would eat a big bag all in one day almost. She's crazy. Holy, which, which one? The, the older ones. They okay. love the Takis. Well, I thought they were twins. Yeah. How come one be older than the other? The twins and likes the oh. Takis. She's a little bit too. Uh, okay. Because they're not born at the same time they're born minutes apart, so one's always a little I bit know, older. I know, I'm just being a smart ass. Okay, let's get back here. I avoid really doing food reviews at chains. But, see, initially... Oh, and that, that was from Tom, that was from Jancy, okay. Now, we were actually, we were going to go, we wanted, first we wanted steaks. We were going to go for steaks, but the wait was almost 45 minutes. And we were like, screw that, no. Nope. And I haven't been to Red Robin since, probably since 2000, 2001. Oh, she's, Molly's right underneath that. Right, so we're like, you know what? We haven't been to Red Robin in ages. Let's check it out. So, it was an oddball. Um, last minute decision. Last minute decision. But this this Friday, I got the I got the Sicilian Bella, the, the Detroit pizza. That's that's this front coming Friday's review. And uh, uh, does Red Robin still have the? I don't know. I don't remember seeing the Oktoberfest burger on the menu. Yeah. I don't remember. They had a whole, they had a whole shit ton. And uh, hey, um, what's up there? Um, oh, Uncle Bing Bing's back. Yeah, we're we're trying. We're we think we did. Um, if you subscribe to the channel, I have a notification. Or if you got a notification, there's a link in that notification to be a part of the show. Um, I think it's still there. If not, um. FP checking. Um, so it should be in the notifications. But so Uncle Bing, Bing we're just we're trying takis. Well, I'm trying takis, takis waves and shit. As if I mean these chips are some hot ti hot chips. <laughs> it's like shit. <sighs> um. Oh, what else? What else? Uh, um, today for being January 20th, say the 26th? 27th. 27th. For being January 27th, it was, it was nice out today. Um, we started doing some spring cleaning today. You know, trying to get that, get that jump on. 
How you doing, Michael? What's up? Hey, how you doing? Uh, but, yeah, we're just hanging out once again, as we do every week. Yeah, the link is there. I mean, if somebody wants to if, click on it. Yeah, guys, uh, that piece said the link... Now, I think you have to be you have to be a subscriber to see the notification, okay? Because I think that's how I, it's YouTube set it up. Um, so if you go on that, if you are sub watch, uh, ah, shit, tongue tied. If you are a subscriber to the show or to the channel, click on your go to your notifications, and as soon as I get that, you know, notification that you want to be you want to join, I'll, I'll bring you on. We'll do some side by side action. Even if you want to have no camera, turn your camera off and just talk to us. Yeah, if you don't want to turn it, you know, turn your camera off and just come, or call us. Call us five seven zero seven seven six four six four eight. Be a part of the show. Um. Right now. Phone's backwards. I hope you talked last week. Last week was amazing. Yeah, we had we had technical difficulties last week. But now we seem to be getting on top of stuff here. Great role we're trying anyway. Yeah, we're making We're trying. Uh, um, so, for everybody, if, uh, you know what, FP, come on for a little bit. Say hi to everybody. I guess we're having uh, sound issues, they say. Why, who, who can't hear who? Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't touch the sound. How, how's this? It might just be like buffering or something. Oh yeah, it could be buffering. See, that's why that's why I do a side view of the uh, of with the camera camera to catch any so there's no like audio buffing or any crap like that. We apologize for any sound issues. Yeah. Hi, Jolene. It could be just from buffering. Um. Tony's Tyrone Tyrone's. Is that asking about about the uh, hot dog and series? Yeah, I I went to Tyrone's. It's if you go to my playlist, go to my hot dog, go to my hot dog playlist. It's there. Tyrone's. They had uh they do the footlongs. They had one onions and mustard and one chili mustard and onions. Yep, I was there. They're good. <sighs> I want to give a shout out to I don't know because the time difference he might he might be asleep, but there's Frank. No, I'm sorry, not Frank. Frank drives a truck. He's all over the place. But David, a friend of mine, David, who follows me, he lives over in Vietnam. I don't know what the time difference is, but he he might be asleep right now or something. But he's from he's from Vietnam. So a good shout out across the waters to Vietnam to all my followers who who will maybe watch the show on the replay. <clears throat> Big shout out to the Vietnam people. A big shout out to to my new can Canadian peeps, and it's funny because when me and FP were last week, we found out that people were watching us from Canada. I almost, I was like, I almost like fell over, because I'm like, like holy crap, and uh, Um, yeah, I, any, I apologize for any sound issues. Um, it could be just the Wi-Fi, how it's buffering, or how YouTube's buffering. Um, so I am sorry. But again, if you want to support the show, go to the shop zone. If you have a car, get the outside the box plate frame. I think I did a good job with this. Check it out. I got one. I, I ordered one. Mine's, mine's on its way. And as soon as it, when it gets here, I will take a picture. I'll show everybody what it looks like, you know, in, in real time. FP sporting the false paranormal any PA one. I'm gonna be sporting the outside the box. Yeah. Um. Checking, just checking the any any questions, but so let's see. Uh, during the week, oh, I don't know if she's watching tonight. A person reached out uh, and was asking possibly uh, her and her, her fiance are looking for a fish yet. So she was asking. She was oh, she asked 
if we did, do we do paranormal or podcast? I'm like, well, technically we kind of do both. In the summertime, we were going out doing the paranormal. Once it got cold, we started doing the show, and because of the because of, of the, the great response we get, we're going to keep doing the show. We're not going to stop. We might do the show live from the cemetery. <laughs> you know, that might happen. Um, but you know, we're definitely going to keep the show going. We're not going to, uh, once the weather goes warm again, you know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna stop the show. We're, we're getting too much response. We're getting too many. No, Molly. We're getting too many people. You know, you guys every week. Hey, you gonna go live? I get, okay. I'll get messages. You gonna go? Li we got another thing in the chat. It's uh, from a. a uh, sorry if I say your name wrong. Jancy J. Uh, oh, it's Jance. Yeah, it's my old boss. It says, uh, he noticed that in the replay, it's perfect, but in the live stream, it's having buffering issues with the sound. So in the replay, it's good, though. So everything is good. That's why I always do the camera for the replay. Just to catch, just so there's no any any audio issues. But I like doing the live because... Yellow from Houston, Texas. Oh, we got another one. Hello. We got from Houston, Texas. Hello, Houston. Wow. Mr. Mr. Michael Robinson. Damn. You're feeling it, ain't you? I am. Yeah. Whoo. But guys, if you want to be a part of the show, let me make sure my my speaker's on so we can get all the all, hear all you. Bluetooth ready for connection. Give us a call. Bluetooth connected. Give us a call. 570-766-4648 to be a part of the show tonight. Come say hi. Uncle Bing Bong wants a live cooking show soon. I usually don't do live cooking shows because there's times I want to angle the camera. Just like so you get like a shot of what I'm cooking on the pot. It's just... Doing it live, and I really have only momentum of the of the of the cell phone. It's kind of hard. Um. <coughs> Here, I have an idea for a live cooking show. Maybe if you connect me, and then we have two different angles at the same time. You never have to move the camera. That's an idea. Think about that. That's a possibility. You know, there's a that's a good dance that's an idea. idea. So I think. Because it would look awesome. On camera angle, that's how my cell phone is. It's... There, I'm moving it. There, maybe that's better. Um... Uh, uh, oh, that's for me? Oh, hey, sweetheart. Oh, that's so nice. Right, Molly? Make a nice couple. Uh, Isn't that nice? Yeah, I needed that. Nice like that I needed that. Oh, I'm just, I'm not saying you, I'm just saying, I'm just teasing. He's just, he's just busted ass. Um, but yeah, that's why, that's why I always do the replay to... Next week, make the cell horizontal. We're still trying to figure out the horizontal on your phone. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm trying to, because when I try to go horizontal, it will not let me click... To actually go live. Maybe when I come out, I'll try to go horizontal, see what happens. It, it, like I could go in and set it up. I'll go in settings, set up to go horiz to go, you know, horizontal, and I'll go back to go live, and it will not let me go live. Don't know why. But when I go live, though, I can't go side by side. It won't let you go side by or when you go horizontal, you can't do side by side. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, those Takis are hot as hell. Um, so, guys, if you, if, you, if you want to be a part of the show, give us a call. 570-766-4648. Molly wants to video bomb the, you know, the, the show. She can do that, though. She's a good girl. So, Molly, look. Look, look. Uh, come here. Look, Molly. Look at, look, at the, look, at, look at the camera. Look at. Look. Uh, I'm trying. She's getting there. Oh, see, Uncle Bing Bong likes my idea. He says two cameras sound like a good idea. Get different angles. 
Thank you, Uncle Big Bong. I had a good idea today. <laughs> There's Mr. Jingles in the house tonight. No. No, Mr. Jingles is home. See, I told the GF people ask about... No, it's not here. People ask about Mr. Jingles. I leave Mr. Jingles home if I'm only coming overnight. I'll have Mr. Jingles for like five days in February, so you'll see Mr. Jingles. No, Molly, you're not having any any talkies. So come on, yeah, come on, down, down, down. No. Come be part, come on, come be part of the show. Come on up. Uh, no, you're you're not getting talkies. Um. What? I, she tries talking to me, and I don't know what she wants. She's telling you she wants a talkie, but that's not Yeah, no, we're not giving you a talkie, Molly. Here, there's Molly. There's Molly. There's Molly. No, no, Molly. No, no. So, um, so, I started saying that, no, go, go lay down. Go lay down. So, do you have to go potty? Do you have to go potty, Molly? I need to do, yeah. Uh, she might have to go outside. So, uh, lady contacted me about officiating a wedding. Would you be able to pour me a small cup? Yes. Thank you. And, so uh, I drank all my hot cocoa. So, oh, you're supposed to go party, Molly. So, she's saying, you know, we'll talk to her about the wedding stuff, and then she goes, Do you do, do you do, uh, Paranormal investigation or do podcasts? I'm like, well, technically we do both. Um, in the summer we were going out hitting cemetery stuff like that, and then when the weather started getting cold, we started switching doing inside stuff to keep the show going. And the show got such a great response. Great reviews. Great reviews. Great response. People asking about them. Um, you know, we just we're gonna keep doing the shows. And we'll go out and do paranormal stuff too. But we're gonna do that on on FP's channel. That's the False Paranormal channel. And if you go, well, excuse me, if you go to YouTube.com backslash at False Paranormal, or if you go on YouTube, it's YouTube dot or uh, yeah shit Facebook Facebook.com slash False Paranormal NEPA. So you can join the Facebook, join the False Paranormal group. Check out his channel. Cause we do a lot of when we do live stuff, we do it from the channels, not from YouTube. Er, ah, son of a bitch. Not from Facebook. We do it from YouTube. These some bitches are hot. Thank you, eleven people that are hanging out with us. We really appreciate. It. Even if we just bullshit and just talk about really like. It's who live right now, too, Mr. Uncle Big Bong. Ooh. I don't know, he's asking if he too. Oh, F Fal Paranormal? No, he's he's monitoring the chat. Uh, my, uh. I warned you, dog. I warned you. No, nope, nope, spit it right out. I told you. Plus my dog's a klepto. My dog's a klepto. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, there shows for a water dish. Try to tell her. Yep. Okay. Uh, plus, my, my dog likes to steal stuff. If you're not watching, she'll take it right in her hand. Uh, she's a goofball. But. So what do you rate those on a scale of 1 to 10 of hotness? We're going at least a good 8. We're going a good 8? A good 8. Good. Yeah, that's about right. Um, uh, there's these hot wings. Um, yeah. Um, so also what I'm thinking about doing, or what I, I was talking to FP, and this is our first time we're, we're trying with the Takis. Um, yeah, no. You got one? Yeah, no. 
um, each week we'll we'll talk about whatever, and we'll we'll review like uh, and this is our first one we're doing chips. Maybe we'll do next next week we'll do another food item. Yeah, these things are making your eyes run, your nose run. It's like ah. <laughs> Wait till later. Yeah. But how's everybody? How's, how how are you guys doing tonight? Like, what's what's going on with you guys? I'd love for somebody to call in or video chat in or. Yeah. Um. You know who I haven't seen yet. Remember Susan? I haven't I haven't seen her. Yeah. I don't. I don't think Susan's on tonight. Actually. No, Susan might not be with us tonight. Susan's usually on with us every week. Unless you got something going on. What's up, Fly Guy? Oh, there's another one. Yeah, Fly Guy, you think you talking about your video you did the other day? Uh, which one was that? Oh, I know what one you were talking about. Yes. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Thank you, Fly Guy. Uh, sometimes it's tough to talk about things like that, but I felt it was time to open up. Open up. Oh. Um, <clears throat> Flag, if you just joined us, we are trying new Takis chips. And these some bitches are hot. <laughs> My, I'm reading about it. I'm reading the heat is about the heat about an eight. For a chip, that's. It's pretty hot. Yeah. When I arrived, homicide detectives. I had. I've had wings that weren't considered hot. Hotter than these chips. So, yeah. But the wings, like, it's it's like one where you, like, eat one, then eat another. And, like, by the sixth one, you're, like, then you start to feel it, like, built in. You're, like, holy, mm -hmm. holy crap. Uh, but, yeah, Sicilian Bella Festa, they have, they're coming out with, their, they're trying uh, something called the Detroit-style pizza. That was really good. And that video will be up, will be up Friday. That's like a deep dish pizza, uh, right? No, it, no, it wasn't deep. It, it was baked, but it's just... Uh, it's just a little bit different than the Sicilian. But it, it was it's thicker than... But it, it has a different taste than the Sicilian, and it was really good. <laughs> it was really good. Um, this was so cool right now, because I'm so glad this is working. There's no feedback. You don't hear no feedback, right? No, no feedback. Dude, I'm hearing you. I got, like, maybe about, like, a five or six... There's a delay. There's, yeah, there's a lag. There's a delay, but I'm hearing you live and I'm hearing it play back. It's so I feel like a news broadcaster. How's it feel? It does it sound like any buffering issues? Like you're hearing the no, buffering? No, it's clear. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, FP's man in the chat. Answer, answering your questions in the chat. Frank or relating them to me. Sicilian Bella is awesome food. Great footlongs. Oh, they're footlong dogs? Yes, they're chili. Now his his wife, I think her name's Renee. Oh, thanks, Wally. Did Fred ever call in? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't know, Fred P. If you never call in, man, give us a call. Uh, we like all your comments. Click on the link in the description. If you camera shy, just keep it off. Uh, boy, uh, blah, blah. Come on, we're doing a show. Uh, video bombed by my dog. Uh. Now she's gonna go and harass the GF. She's gonna go and attack the GF. Um, Rainforest Cafe. I actually have been at the Rainforest Cafe. That's in Florida. She's been at the Rainforest. I've never. They were amazing. <laughs> Rainforest Cafe is amazing. They have great food. Very expensive. If I recall correctly. Yes, extremely expensive, but really good. But really, really, yeah. It's, and the mm -hmm. atmosphere, and the, and the environment, it's just amazing. I'm going, when I go back to Florida in February, we're going to the Rainforest Cafe. Yeah, the GF and her sister are going to Florida, and then for, for like a week, five days, five days, and then I will have Mr. Jingles. He'll be with us. And this was like going back like maybe 15, 20 years ago. That's a, that's when I was there. I wasn't there for a long time. I was there 
It'll be almost two years in September. And the going rate for a plate of food was like $35 a plate. Really back to like 35 bucks for a plate isn't, isn't bad. Well, well, yeah, maybe back then it was. Yeah, hell. It's been so long. Ugh. Back then, it's only been not even quite two years. Oh, last, last time I was there was like 2002. That's when I was there last. And I didn't, we didn't even eat there. We went in because it was just so packed. Just went in and kind of looked at stuff and left. Ugh. All right. So. The experience in um, Rainforest Coffee is really good, too. Oh, I, I know what. FP has a story. I told him to hold on to the story till till the show. Yes. Now, can you guys hear FP? FP, well, say something, FP. Hello, can you guys hear me? Give us a. Can they like this? If you get, if you can, yeah. If you can hear, if you can hear FP, put one in the chat. Yeah, one. There you go. Because I want, I want him to tell you this story. All right, so. Oh, okay. I'm just so you know what? Fast. Move the, move the, move the chair closer. Come be a part of the show, uh, Gary FP. Yeah, we're all getting old. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> well, I was doing. I'm going to start it off this way. Yesterday, I was in need of some financial help, so I came to my friend Jay here, and he lent me a few dollars for things I needed around the house. Well, by his act of kindness, now, this is where how it begins, actually. By that, him doing that for me, I believe enabled this to happen for. You know, to cause the events to keep happening. And what I mean is, I was doing some looking around and trying to figure this out, maybe after we talked earlier today. And the closest thing I can get is maybe like a guardian type spirit thing. Okay? Could be. And they're basically, they just come to you and they like, either show you like the right path to go down or like try to advise you on the right path to go down. <clears throat> and basically... What happened to me yesterday was one of the... I don't want to say it was like paranormal or, or spiritual or anything. It was just weird. Because I was over here at my local gas station. And I, I went to get a soda pop. And I came out. And there was a guy like standing out there. And I guess at the time he said he might... He told me he after the fact, like when he was introducing himself. He, uh, he said that... He was there because he was rummaging through the the cigarette bin trying to find, like, used change. Like, or... Yeah, like no, like oh, use tobacco, like... like burnt cigarettes that were still. You can get a couple puffs. Out yeah, of yeah. Okay. So as I was standing there, like I was standing next to him, like he was just standing against the wall. So I, I was standing next to him, drinking my soda, and he says, you know, he was like, "Hi, my name's Adam. You know, I'm a uh, I'm in a little bit of a hard time, and." I'm, you know, I'm trying to get home, and he was like, I'm looking for, well, I was like, I need like a dollar fifty for bus fare. Now, me, being kind of a jerk that I am, at first... You weren't, you're not a duck, you're not really I, a jerk. I, I, I kind of gave him the, like, you know, the automatic no, you know, like, you know, block him. But, at the same time, something was making me feel and think, like, you know, after listening to a story, and it was just such a simple story... Like, you know, mm. I need bus fare to get home, dollar fifty, that's what he was asking for. And what's two bucks? Like like dollar fifty is like Yeah. Right. So all of a sudden I started feeling like an asshole because I didn't give him this two bucks. This two bucks that I had. And I was like So and it was weird at that point because I already had said no and I'm like, something's telling me like, you know, just give him the two bucks. Right. So I was like, in that predicament, I'm like, oh, now it's awkward. But anyway, I reach into my pocket, I grab the two bucks, I give it to the guy, 
And he was like, thank you, man. He was like, my name's Adam. And, she, and that was weird, though. He kept, he kept, like, introducing himself. You know, and he was like, well, I'm Jason. So, I, you know, I said at that time. And he, uh, he just stood there for about five, ten seconds and just walked away, started walking across the street. Now, where we're at, where we're at, the gas station and the pizza parlor are on the same side of the street, but on opposite sides. So they're like, <clears throat> one's on one side, one's on the other. So, And then on the other side of the street, of the intersection, was the, what was it? It was Angelino's and Crest Cleaner. So he was walking, and I'm just trying to describe it so people right. can understand. He was walking from the gas station through Antonio's parking lot, which was a straight line, now the weird thing is, if he was, he said he was asking for bus fare. Now the bus fare or the buses only run on Wyoming Ave at night. Yeah. So the way he was going was a crossing, like he was crossing from the gas station to the Antonio's, and I started walking on the other side of the street where from Antonio's side. Was. Well, on that side, across... Yeah, so okay. and I was about 20, 30 feet behind this guy. And I felt kind of like something was making me think. He was like, well, now that I gave this potential, person. you know, person, maybe homeless guy, whatever he is, this money, well, I'm thinking, oh, man, he's going this way. What if he follows me home? So I started, you know, getting a little paranoid. So I stood... On the corner of Luzerne Ave, and I, I wait like I was I was standing there to make sure he wasn't following me. But let me backpedal a little bit. Before we got to that section, like before we got there, as I was trailing him behind him as he was walking through Antonio's parking lot, he got halfway through the parking lot, and that's exactly where the entrance to Antonio's is. So therefore, he would either ran into Antonio's and hid somewhere, or went into the bathroom, or ran about. A good 30 to 50, or I'm sorry, 40 to 50 feet around the edge of the building and down the road and disappear within like a second or two. Or he went into Antonio's and went because to the bathroom. When I was behind him, my son sent me a Snapchat. I looked down for a second, I looked back up, I look over. And he was gone. And the guy was gone. And it won't matter of you getting a Snapchat thing. Yeah, it was just a notification. I scrolled down, looked at it, I said, okay, I looked around, back over. And he was nowhere to be seen at all. So that's when I stood on the corner by the man, by the on the on the Zernav by the mansion, and I stood there and I was thinking, well, maybe if this guy's like hiding or you know trying to follow me now. So I waited there for a few minutes and I kept like just looking around the area. No signs in Antonio's. No signs down the street. No movement at all. You know, it was a calm night. So I walked down past the old cemetery. Walk over to or Wyoming Avenue, mm -hmm. and I look at the bus stop. Nobody's there. No signs of anybody nearby. So I circle back to Antonio's and I make one final pass just to make sure he wasn't in there, and he was nowhere to be seen. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I mean, it, it, it was it was, and the way he walked away, it wasn't like uh, like I I don't want to say it was supernatural, but it was just like once he said okay goodbye, he just like. It was like he didn't even care about the traffic, because he just, he kept his pace. It, I'm not saying there was cars coming or nothing, but he right. didn't even, it, it's not that he even looked. He didn't even, like, turn his head or, he didn't he do just, none of that. Just he, just, just let it look. he just went right across the street, right into the parking lot, and then I was on the other side of the road at the time, and that's when he just disappeared. Just gone. And I'm just, look, I'm getting, look at that. Yeah. My arms, I, I just talking about that shit. Yep. My arms just went, whoop, I just got cold. What up, Marcus? Thanks for joining, buddy. So that was my show. I don't mean to freak you out. I'm no, sorry. That doesn't freak me out. Marcus said, sorry, guys, I'm late. He was at work. What's that? Marcus, he said, sorry, guys, I'm late. I was at work. No problem, Marcus. Thanks for joining us. You just missed my story. I don't, maybe, but I don't Un know. Uncle Bing Bing said, you get what you give. Yeah? Bless and be blessed. Now, the beginning part of that story... Okay, I'm I'm kind of running a, a group called uh, Facebook group. Uh, uh, me of the X Files show. Shit, tongue tied. I'm running. I'm helping run a Facebook group called One Hand Helping Another. 
Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, yesterday I was working. It was Friday. I was doing, you know, I was working at like 4.30. So I left work. I'm like, I got to go down to Family Dollar because today I was doing spring cleaning. So I had to go down and get like cleaning, cleaning crap. Like I'm at a Family Dollar and Pete texts me, hey, can I, can I borrow 10 bucks? I'm out of cat food. Cats need food. And I'm like seeing, I'm, I said to him, I'm like, shit, I just, like, where was your text 10 minutes ago? Literally, 15 minutes, well, 15 minutes. I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll come back in. Let me come back so we can pick you up. Now, I had to go to Garrity's because I had to get some chicken. So, I'm like, well, I'll just swing by and FP goes me, jumps in. He's like, we can just go to Garrity's. I'm like, well, that's cool because I got to go to Garrity's anyway. So, that's when we went to Garrity's. And we got the the cat food, and he's like, yeah, I'm just I just want to walk. I'm gonna walk home. Like you sure? Gonna, he's like, No, I just want. To, I like to walk. Oh, okay. Shit. And that's when he ended up talking to the to the traveler guy. So, was it a, just a real major coincidence, or did this guy? And see, the uh, thing is, I forgot. I I didn't mention his eyes. His eye his eyes were like the bluest eyes. Like he just looked like. See, he, you I said he didn't keep, look. I he have, didn't look homeless. He didn't look like, like homeless, but he looked. He was clean shaven. He had a goatee, a baseball cap on, a black backpack, and a, like a brown leather. Like he was hiking or something. Like, so, like maybe he was, he was an outdoorsman, like something like that. He okay. Was, like he was, you know. But he didn't refer, reflect this to being like a homeless person. No. Uh, it, it was just. I don't know. It was just weird. Out of the tales from the tales of FPs. Travels. <laughs> That's what you could do on your channel during like during the day. FP ch the travels of FP. <laughs> well, I, I think I'm gonna do like a short story about that because that that really like it was, I, that it was, does it was that's me. weird. It not was, we, not weird weird but like weird in that way like like look, what happened what happened did this guy just, just happened at a gas station <clears throat> but this guy just disappeared just walk and walk next to you go down and it's gone yeah. Yeah. Like, he would have had to be very, very fast and, like, super quiet. Uh, there's just no way. Weirdly, sometimes in life there are certain things we can't explain. It was like the, that show, uh, Highway to Heaven. Yeah. How Michael Landon used to travel to different uh, cities and towns. You just appear and just psh, gone. The angels used to, and then all of a sudden they were there and they were gone. How did FPC... I don't know. An angel, maybe, just checking to see, like, maybe, just... Maybe, the, the, the most thing I can get out of it is maybe he was trying to teach me to be a little kinder to people. I don't know. Could be. Maybe, like, is this guy going to make the right choice? Is not, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I felt like, you know, like... Now now to just, just wrap your head around it, if if you could get a hold of me and I couldn't loan you that, that ten bucks... Exactly. Would that have still happened? Exactly. Or did that trigger... The next this event to, to happen. occur. And for all of you, Marcus, who just tuned in, I am taste testing Takis. Which. Oh, okay, these things are hot. <laughs> Uncle Bing Bong says maybe it was an it's, undercover uh, agent and I blew his cover. Well, maybe it was. It's Uncle Bing Bing. You're calling him Bing Bong. Sorry, man. Sorry, Uncle Bing Bing. Oh, it is Bing. I'm so sorry. I thought it was Bing Bong. And people was calling you Bing Bong. I said, no, you're, you're Bing Bing. It is Bing Bing. Yeah, it is. I told you it was Bing. I'm like, wait, that's, yeah, that's Uncle Bing Bing. Bad. Now, I, I want to give a shout out if, if, my, if any of you guys from Canada are watching this tonight. I want to hear from you. I'm only video bombing. Peter says maybe it could have been a stealth camper. Not very uh -huh. stealthy. <laughs> All right. Let Pete take over for a minute. We'll be right back, guys. Uh oh. Oh, boy. I get to sit in the big boy chair. <laughs> oh. Ah, damn. I'm running two phones. <laughs> I'm running two screens. This is great. Oh, shit, Molly just pawned me. All right. 
Takis have a ton of flavor. Yes, they do. Could could we? Could be we are. Uh, Yes, yes you are Skeeter. My buddy Skeeter did a video the other night. He was doing some stealth camping at a house. At a, I don't know what location it was because he, he kept that private, but unfortunately, I guess uh, the property owners found him somehow and made him leave the property, which sucked, but he tried. He did a good job with that video. Plus there were bats and he hates bats, but I love bats, Skeeter. Little bats flying around in your house going, ee, ee, ee. they're going to get you. I had a bat in my house once. Yeah. We used to, I used to live down in the trailer park and they used to fly around the lights at night. You'd hear them going, they're like, they dive down and try to catch bugs or something. One thing, one thing about bats is bat eats, bats eat all the insects, the, the uh, mosquitoes, yep. flies. So leave the bats alone, let them kill the mosquitoes. Right. No way. Bats freak me out. Ah, uh, you want to sit back on? You, you can take the you can take the wheel for a little bit. Oh, all right. We're like, just talking sorry, about yeah. bats and Molly. Bats Molly, like... eat mosquitoes. In return, you do not get West Nile. And coming from experience, you do not want West Nile. Right. Or skeeter scared of bats. Oh, look around this video over here. Point at the camera. Point at this camera. I like playing. Yeah. I see when I get on camera, I get goofy. Why do you let me do this? Cause I had to go to the. Are you okay? Yeah, I had to go to the can. All right. Okay. We're getting a lot of comments. Did you guys hear the? No, they're not coming back again, are they? What? Who? The cicadas? Who? Yeah, they're due to come back soon. Oh, the what? Those like those noisy ass bugs that cr cover everything and. They sound like crickets? No. No, the cicadas. I hate cicadas. They're, the cicadas. they're like crickets. Oh, yeah. They're, they sound like crickets, but they're not crickets. No. I think they come out of the ground, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, like every so many years or something. Yes, they come out of the ground. Yeah, they're nasty little buggers. All right, I'm moving. Ah. Oh. Yeah, he's getting old. Here's a couple chairs. Ah. All right, I'm back, guys. Uh, hi, I'm Molly. Uh, yes. This is the official, she's the official mascot, Fresh GW. And we got Mr. Jiggles, but he's not here today. Uh. No, he's from a pop-up. Focus. All right, good girl, Molly. Yes, that's what they're called, too, Focus. Okay, I've heard, I've heard the term locust, not what you guys were saying. But, uh, <laughs> okay, so anyway, <clears throat> if you guys haven't tried Takis, you want some hot shit, you try these Takis. But, uh, we're just sitting here, we're, it's tonight guys, we're just joining, we're, it's open mic night. We're just hanging. Whatever the topic is, it is. I think I think I think it's funner that way. Cause like it could be we'll start with something, it could be anything else. Oh, and you guys that live near near us, if uh, you have a dog and that dog you needs a haircut, I wanna promote Posh Puppies in Luzerne. That's my buddy Sherry. Posh Puppies and Luzerne has been taking care of Molly since day one. Does a good job. And uh, she took care of Goldie for years. Okay. Why don't I like coffee? Because it tastes like shit. Plain English. None of that coffee bullshit. Buy my shirt. Wait. Do I have it here? Is it in the wash? Probably in the wash. Ah! 
It's in the wash. We're showing you my none of that coffee bullshit t-shirt. It's in the wash. I don't drink coffee either. And my other thing is, unless you're 12 or younger, you don't put ketchup on a hot dog. Drive me nuts. Mustard, onions, sauerkraut, no ketchup. Or you eat them naked. See, the GF goes rod dogging like Frank the Tank. <laughs> GF doesn't like watching Frank the Tank. I just like to drive her nuts. Frank the Tank is, he's a YouTuber. And he calls it, he calls himself Raw Doggin. Where he really only eats, he'll eat two type of hot dogs. He'll first review a plain hot dog, then he'll do chili and cheese. And that's it. Other than that, oh, and he does fries. I feel. I want him to come back to he he has been into Pennsylvania. Closest to us he's been in he's he went to Scranton. He went to Scranton at not the Coney Island on near the trestle, the Coney Island on the main road. And he was at Jimmy's Lunchbox in Hazel. And no offense, both my reviews of those were better than his reviews. Mine were longer. Gave more insight. But somehow this guy has more subscribers than I do. I don't get him. I mean, and not, nothing against the guy personally. It's just, if you look at his video, and look at my video, his video's f like three minutes and like only one minute of the hot dogs. Where I'll give you at least a good 20 minutes of whatever the hell I'm eating. But, you know, we, we passed our 300 mark for subscribers. So I'm very thankful to all you guys that subscribe to the channel. Subscribing, clicking that notification bell helps the channel. Uh, it Who's helps. Talking about waffle fries. I like waffle fries. Gee, if you like waffle fries? Yes. Uh, like seasoned waffle fries. Yeah, they're good. Cheese, liquid cheese. <laughs> Normally, right now, I'd be hungry thinking talking about food, but after eating Red Robin, no. Oh, Jance, if you're still watching, how, how did you make out with surgery, buddy? I hope everything's okay. I was thinking about you the other day, I, and I forgot to, I got sidetracked. So if you're still watching, Jancy, hope every, I hope your recovery's going good. We're still holding 10. Sweet potato fries? Oh, yeah. I like to, no, I think, oh, no, you don't like sweet potato fries, GF, don't you? No. GF doesn't eat sweet potatoes. Yeah, that, they're, that's a little. Ah. <sighs> Says the one that doesn't eat onions and and, and bacon on pizza. <laughs> Who? Me. Oh yeah, you don't. I don't eat onions. See, what I was gonna initially do, if GF, if you weren't coming over tonight, I wanted to do a pizza review thing, right? So I was gonna call Villa Pizzeria, and and get and have him order the Supreme Pizza. But then I'm like thinking, some bitch won't won't have to shit on the pizza. So that's, I have to eat the whole damn thing myself. That's me too. I'm very picky. <laughs> No, honey. Yeah. There's Picky, and then there's you. All right, so we'll put Picky, <laughs> we'll put Jay, then we'll put you. My body has a sacred fortress, and I always select things get inside yeah. to nourish it. <laughs> you, you may steal that one there, hon. Yes. <laughs> I am extremely picky. No. To start off with, I don't eat mustard, mayonnaise, or ketchup. Mm. That's like Thousand Island sauce. Yeah, mustard. Yeah, mustard, oh, mustard mayo. And may or, yeah, mustard and ketchup. Mustard or is it? Yeah, the little mustard in there though. Or no, ketchup and mayo. Ketchup and mayo. Not mustard. <sighs> but guys, call in. Say hello. What the hell? Yeah, yeah give us a call. Even prank calls. You want to prank call us? Do that. That'd be fun. That would be interesting. <sighs> but 
So yeah, we're just hanging out tonight. We're just having fun. Nothing really, nothing really doing, nothing, nothing really, nothing really topic -y that no major topic to talk about. We, I, so I was working all week. I worked last Saturday. I was off Sunday, worked straight through till yesterday. Almost worked today, but I had other things going on that I had to do. And, uh, so, uh, what? I'm talking about chicken fries at Canobles. I remember having chicken fries at Canobles, but I could have. I can't remember. Canobles. I like their fresh cut french fries at Canobles. When I used to go to Canobles, I've been to Canobles in years. Uh, probably since 2000 and uh, maybe 11, possibly. But I would always used to go to the late night pass. I'd always go. To, we'd always go to the Alamo. You know, the Alamo always had good food. What's the late night pass? I have no idea. From where? Uncle Bing Bing. Yeah, but from where? Has thoughts about the Applebee's late night pass. I haven't been to Applebee's in probably thirty years. Seriously. What does that mean? You can go late at night or something? Maybe? I guess I don't know. Is oh, no. that where the um, <clears throat> appetizers are fifty percent off as of nine o'clock? Could be. Here, let's. Two hundred dollars a pass. Holy moly! All right, what is it called, the Applebee's late night pass. Applebee's late night pass. It's two hundred bucks. They said. <laughs> you better Screw eat that. every day. I'd be there every day. Mm. <laughs> two hundred bucks. I'll get my money's worth. <laughs> yeah. Applebee's. I'd be. I'd be a skier. If I had the Applebee's late night pass, I'd be stealth camping in their parking lot every night because that's where I'd be living. Right late next to the pass. right next to Applebee's. Yeah. And guys, if you want to see someone who hides in, a, in an abandoned houses, you check out the Skeeter channel. Yes. Yeah, he actually did a good Applebee's video date day. night pass, not late night pass. Was that what I said? You, you're saying you said I tell you said late night pass. Oh, date night. I can't read, man. I'm, I'm, I, well, I'm looking here. People also ask. I need glasses. And so do I. Albies, how do I get a date night pass? Not late night what pass. How a date night pass? On January 22nd, Albies released the date night pass, which give card holders 52 date nights starting on February 1st, January 31st. Oh, wait. Starting on February 1st until January 31st, 2025. For 200 bucks, the pass allows customers to order up to $30 worth of food and non-alcoholic beverages during each use, either for dining or to go. <clears throat> yeah, 200 bucks. Yeah, no, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, I'll keep my 200 bucks. Put it on other stuff. Stuff we get a review for the show. That's what we'll do. Um, yeah, it's date night pet legal. I'm like, what the hell's a late night pass? Something like that for late nights. The only thing I know about late nights is they do, after 9 o'clock, their appetizers are half half off. That sounds like a good memory, Fred. Yeah, maybe this year. You know what this year we're going to have to do? We're going to have to do a show. Even if we pre, even if we just we pre-record it, but cool, going cool. I think we'd be doing live too. We gotta go to Knobles. Knobles. Got it. We gotta do a show from Knobles. Yes, we have to do a show from Knobles. That would be cool. <clears throat> also, though, when you're going to Knobles, when you go, uh. <coughs> See, I go up Route 11 and then cut across. But when you go, there's a road you turn up to go up a hill. Like it says, like Knobles this way. About maybe a mile or two miles before Knobles, there's this produce. It's like a little market, but it's really a produce market. And let me tell you, I've had sweet corn from different places throughout PA. This place had the most sweetest corn in the world. Mm. Yeah, this was this was. Perfect. This was delicious. Sweet, juicy, yes. And if you hit them on the right day, it's usually during the week, not on weekend. Because years ago, like, I'd have a day off, like, during the week. So me, so I'd go to Knobles. And uh, they give you, they give you one as a sample. 
they have like one one per, like a small for sample and they have this humongous cornfield behind them. Now, last time I was there was before COVID, so I don't know if they still do it or not, but <clears throat> this if was... You, if you want to get good local corn from around here, you go to Dorney's Farm. They have the best corn. And where's that, my dear? Um, by Liberty Hills in Hanover Township. Oh, that's down near you? Yes. Oh, 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 oh I, okay, we, that's where the helicopter plane crashed in, in their field last year, the year before. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Yeah, made the news. A little biplane crash. Oh. That's yeah. That's what she's talking about. So we got a good ten strong. Yeah. Six lights. Thank you. I can't wait to see the. Uh, Takis? No, no, no. But the, but the once the video ends, I can't wait to see the how many the people watch. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I remember that little corn stand. Yeah. The corn stand down by the monument that used to be there? It's still there. Oh, what family owns it? I can't remember. They were there last year. Were they? They were there last year. I don't think it's often, but they were there. I, I remember driving by and seeing them last year. All right, guys. We want. I want one of you to call in and tell us a story. In the show with a good story. Anybody? Advertisement. Anybody that wants no. to call in? I want to do the advertisement. Who else is here? Uncle Bing Bing. I see his name right now. So good. Steve's there. Somebody give us a call. Five seven zero. Seven six six. Four six four eight is the number. Bluetooth ready for connection. Sometimes if it sits, it'll go on idle and it'll. Bluetooth it'll off. connected. So guys, give us a call. Tell us your most outlandish Kenobi stories, corn stories, corn picking stories, amusement park stories. I've never heard of city chicken. I've never heard of that at all. James, there's there's a place tell us about city chicken. There's a place There's there's a place called Crown Chicken that's down near uh Myers in South Wilkesbury. I never heard of no city chicken crown chicken I heard. But here, this this, this one's here a little, little good. But uh, I right, Jance, we you know I Jancy, Jancy remembers all the. We got. I'm sure there's some good between the two of us. There's some good, uh, good Burger King stories we could tell from back in the day. I'm sure if we put our heads so we can figure we can figure a good story out. Maybe a couple of bad stories, but still stories. See, guys, Jancy used to be my boss at Burger King. Back in the day, when I was just uh, before I became manager, I was just a red shirt employee, you know, crew person, and Jancy was the GM. <coughs> We'd have some hell, cause Friday nights, Coughlin, when Coughlin had home games, Coughlin Stadium used to be where the the Plains High School, the Plains Junior High School is now. Originally, that was Coughlin's football field, and uh, we. Uh, we would get pet. We would get hit after the after the the, the game. It would just be some. We just hear. There's always a wild story coming out of those nights. <clears throat> but it was funny because back then I was working, and uh, 
this this big limousine pulls up. That was about maybe like 10 o'clock, 10, 15. We were starting to die down. This big limo pulls out in front of the... And I don't know, Jancy, if you were the GM there at that point or not. I can't remember. But this big limo pulls up. Uh, comes out of the car. Comes like four or five people. <coughs> and, uh... But we're wondering, like, who's this guy? You know, what's going on? Here, the guy walks in. And... Turns out it was Dana Carvey. He was doing, I guess, a show down at the Kirby. You know, Dana Carvey, uh, Wayne's World, oh, yeah. uh, Saturday Night Live. And I'm, I'm looking, because I always, I, at that point, I never, I rarely saw him out of character. And I'm looking, and I'm like, holy shit, like, you're, you're Garth. He's like, yeah, and we talked for like five minutes. That, and that was cool. Yeah. Then, at years, well, when I was manager at Arby's, at one, or not Arby's, when I was a manager at Burger King, up at the East End, who pulls through the drive through Jeff Hardy. When they were doing, they were there at the arena doing the show, comes through the drive through was Jeff Hardy. He wasn't wrestling that night, but he was... I think they're in town again actually today. I think they're up at the arena right now. Because I saw a notification earlier. I think they're actually here today, yeah. Well, tonight's, tonight's the, uh... Smack, or WrestleMania, I think. Uh, is. No, it's Royal Rumble. Is it Royal, or, or, yeah, Royal Rumble, I'm sorry. If they're doing the Royal Rumble from, uh, from the arena, that'd be friggin' awesome. I think they are, because my brother's watching it. He's nice. down at his friend's house. Uh, Alright, let, let's, let, let's, let's touch on wrestling, my, my girlfriend's favorite, favorite topic. I'm waiting to get, I'm waiting to hit with the phone. Um, and, I, and when I mean talk about wrestling, I'm talking about it, like back in the day, not this, not this new shit. You know, new, I mean, nothing wrong with it today. Don't get me wrong, but it's more now entertaining. You know, uh, with the with the music and the shit. Back in the '80s, when it looked like real wrestling, that's the days I remember. That's the days I miss. <clears throat> when there was uh, when you had guys like. You know, Captain Lou Albano, Georgie Animal Steel. You know, you had uh, the Fabulous Freebirds, the Midnight Express, the Rock and Roll Express, which they're still wrestling, the Rock and Roll Express. They're still wrestling. Um, when the, uh, before The Undertaker was The Undertaker, and when he was, uh, he went by, he went by Mean Mark Gallus. Mean Mark Callis. Uh, who back years ago, he before he came to WWE, WWF then, he, uh, there was a tag team called the Skyscrapers. And it was Sid Vicious and Dangerous Dan Spivey. Well, Vicious got injured, and I guess he, he was out for a while, so they put me and Mark Callis as... The, as Sid Vicious' his tag team party became the other half of the skyscrapers. And then eventually came to WWE and became the Undertaker and you know, now the rest is history. But, uh... I am all like that. I am the badass Billy Gunn. <sighs> that marvelous marvelous in music. Like 25 years ago. Oh, wow. That must have been pretty cool. What, well, bad, badass Billy Gunn? Yeah. He, uh... I think he went to AEW. His actually his kids are wrestling in AEW. He he doesn't really wrestle anymore. I think he he retired. Retired. Yeah. He's just he's like the, his 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 boys like manager or something or you know probably manager. Um, yeah, was, back before the days of the arena, they would have wrestling up at the Catholic Youth Center up in Scranton, Scranton CYC. And uh, I was up there for one one night for a show, and uh, who I saw driving in, in a little in a little like rental car, Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Huh. He was up there. I saw Sensational Sherry. I, I met her once, and I really kind of like bumped into her, not realizing because she was out of makeup and she didn't have all her makeup on. She looked different. You couldn't really tell it was her. And then I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, I'll be like, hey, you're, you know, yeah. And so we started bullshitting. And some of those wrestlers, even though they might, like, their characters, like, 
me, out of character, they're like really nice people. Now some are jerks, but I've been actually watching. Uh, yeah, you, he was from two thousand one to two thousand five. He wrestled. Who? A guy named Maven. Nah, I haven't really followed it lately. Well, he started doing a YouTube channel called Maven. That's just like his character from the wrestling. Is was he WWE? Or and he he gives like. But like all the behind the scenes, like what he experienced when he was there at the, the WWE, and like how how he was treated, different things, like how it worked, like behind the scenes, and he, it's pretty cool. I've been watching his videos. Mm -hmm. Something to check out. Yeah, he's a real nice guy. Now, guys, I said this in the beginning of the show. I think once the weather starts getting back, yes, to warm, we'll be outside. We will be doing the cemeteries again. And things like that, the paranormal stuff. But we're gonna be doing it from False Paranormal's pay channel. Okay. He's the he's the he's his channels is the, the paranormal channel. So if you could all just do me a quick favor, go to youtube.com backslash at false paranormal. Like his channel. Let's let's get his let's get his subs up. Um and thank you all to the three hundred and six that are or three hundred and fit I'm over I'm over three hundred, which Thank you, guys. That's amazing. He played at the NFL for the Buffalo Bills and the Atlanta Falcons. Who did? Goldberg. Oh, yeah. Oh. Speaking of Buffalo Bills, I kind of have a semi-connection to the Buffalo Bills. Not directly, but it's like really, really indirectly. <clears throat> Back when I was seven, eight, eight, nine, ten in that area, uh, we would always go to New York. See, my mom, my aunt, my mom's sister, left. My mom was born and raised in Plymouth. Now my aunt moved from Plymouth, and she got married. She moved out out to Henrietta, near right near Rochester, New York. She became, she was a nurse, she's, well, she's technically a retired nurse now, but she was a nurse. And, uh, her, her husband was the uncle of Shane Conlon. So, whenever we, we'd go up and the Bills were playing, we'd always go and root for the Bills because uh, my aunt's nephew through marriage was Shane Conlon. So... I have a in, kind of an in connection connection to the Buffalo Bills. Um, I think I might have met him once, Shane Conlon, and, and that was years and years ago. I met him through my, you know, through he'd be well, he'd be my my uncle. Wait, yeah, my uncle through marriage. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty interesting. But <sighs> let's see. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I know my aunt was always a big, big Penn State fan too. She'd always watch. Um, I don't know what ever happened to him. Now he was, for you guys that are that live around us, back in the day. Um, he was a football player for. I want to say Myers. His name was. Uh, they call it. His, uh, His name was Ismail. I don't know if that was his first name or his last name. It could have been his first name. But he was deemed the Rocket because that's how fast this guy was. Um, I think he went played for for the Canadian Football League for all. I don't know. I think he made it to NFL. But I, I don't remember. It's been so long ago. But I remember watching this kid when he would play Coughlin. And this guy would get the ball and he'd just be like, like just poof. Yeah, he got it. He was gone. No, but it, it was very rare that someone caught him. Maybe that's the guy I saw last night. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys heard heard FP's story, what do you think? Do you think it was just just this just a freak coincidence coincidence or do you think maybe there's something a little bit more behind it? I don't know. Just a regular human or no? <sighs> I should be getting all these alerts from my Facebook. This, that, the other thing. Um how long have we been doing it? Hour 23 minutes. We're holding at 11. 11 people. 
eight likes. Thank you all. You guys, I say this every week, and I really mean it. You guys are the greatest. Me and FP couldn't do this here, and the GF when she's here. It's awesome having her around. It's a nice feature. Yay, yay GF. Give some extra feedback sometimes. She has good it's comments. A, I know, but... She, Sometimes when she's not quiet like this. It's uh I'm, I'm in the middle. <laughs> it's uh Yeah, we you know, we couldn't do this without you guys. Uh, so we like we want I want to take I'm going to stop for a minute, take a moment and everyone who has followed us watching the new to watching the live shows or whether you're know, following me following me watching the food crew food blah, shit. The food reviews or the home cooking shows. And who followed us watching the paranormal stuff? We all want to. We want to say thank you, because in, in all honesty, without you guys supporting the brand, watching the shows, we could not do this. Wouldn't happen. And it's it's just you know I I can't say anything more than. No, you guys are right here. Yep. You guys are awesome. And uh, a couple weeks ago, I got a call from a James and Heather from... They live around the Plains area, somewhere in that vicinity. But if you're watching tonight, James or Heather or both of you, shout out what's going on to the, everybody in Plains. Now, uh... <clears throat> I don't think we have any good questions lately. Thank you, Marcus, for watching them. It was, Mar uh... Marcus, just thanks for posting the videos. Oh, you're welcome. And for all of you who have been asking throughout throughout the year, or throughout the last couple of weeks, about Mr. Jingles, thank you, because you know, he's, he's he's our mascot, too. He, he's a good boy. And uh, it was funny, because the GF was telling me one time she was out somewhere with her sister, shopping or going somewhere, and then someone quit like, hey, are you, you want Mr. Chingles? And she's like, yeah. And so if, if you guys see us out and about, you know, don't hesitate to stop and say, hey, hi. You know, talk to us. We'd love to, we'd love to talk to you. We'd love to meet you. And we'd love, we'd love for all to call it a show. But for some reason, that's not happening. Yeah, well, it will happen But again. yeah, it's all right. <clears throat> Molly's out like uh, Molly's out like a light. We had a long day. Uh, my day started. Uh, normally, I'm supposed to be off, and I, and I didn't I didn't go into work today, cause like we had other stuff going on. But um, I forgot I was gonna say son of a bitch. Yeah. All right. Anyway, thank you though. It's I can't say thank you enough for being a supporter of the show. You know we do this. We just because we like doing it. It's it's fun. We we have a fun time. We have a great night. <clears throat> Sometimes trying to figure out what topics to do every week is right now kind of tough for me because I've I have a lot of stuff going on. But even just sitting here doing like an open mic kind of thing, talking about whatever you guys want to talk about. You know that's uh, that's that that's good. I, I'm I'm thrilled. I'm happy. <clears throat> I mean, I'd be more happier if my damn cough would go away, but that's another story in itself. Miss <clears throat> Molly's kind of basically out cold. She's sleeping and she's sleeping. And she, like, she'll put herself between my, me, my light, and the armrest, and she'll just put herself in that little cubby hole and go poof. And oh. she's... Ryan sleeps in between my knees. Let's see. Oh, now she's off. There she is, because I moved. There she is. She's like, damn it, you moved. I'm going to come over here and hang in my chair. She's, she sleeps, she's hanging out at the, at the one part of the couch. <coughs> so... I don't know, I'm running out of things to say, guys, so you better start asking me questions or something.
Oh, wait, their daughter's a tennis superstar. Oh, wow. Yeah, Ismal. His name was Ismal. Correct. That's right. Uh, uh, one of these days, and I know you guys that live outside the area you couldn't do this, but one of these days, if P and I, what we'd like to do is maybe like one Saturday morning or even in the summer when I'm on vacation, like during the week, have us all meet up, say, somewhere for breakfast and do like one big live show or, you know, that would be cool. I honestly don't do breakfast. I do brunch. All right. So we'd have to do brunch because as you just heard, the GF don't do breakfast because she doesn't get up that early. <laughs> it's Black Friday. Oh, excuse me. Uh. Black Friday. For all the women out there, tell the men it's different when it's Black Friday. Uh, see, the, the, the running joke behind this, and she goes, you're not going to ever let me let me live this down. I'm like, nope. I I beg her, let's go out go do breakfast. Now, the best I could do is get her for brunch. Okay. And that's cool. We'll go out, we'll do brunch. Like 11, 11, 30, 12. One day a year, Black Friday... She will get her ass up at like 4 in the morning to go shopping. 4.30 and I'm out the door by 5. 4.30, she's out the door by 5. Shopping. In darkness. But yet, I can't get her to get her ass up early to go and get some breakfast. But I'm back in bed when I go Black Friday shopping <clears throat> by 11.30. I'm done. Ugh. <clears throat> So, guys, what do you think about... Now we're kind of now going off topic, but... Well, there really was no topic. What do you guys think about Black Friday shopping? It's getting up at, like, 4 in the morning to go shop. I don't get it. I mean, yeah, they say you get specials and stuff, but... During that whole time frame, there are always going specials going on. Um, For me, it's the start of the holiday season. It's, uh... Now, I will say, because it's been kind of crazy Christmas, um, and I called the thing, the GF's dad got me for Christmas a dash cam. Oh, wow. Yes, got to get it hooked up. I just got it tonight. And, uh... He got that due to his car accident that he can't prove it. He got me this as a Christmas present due to when my car, when I had my Elantra, and the guy pulled out and hit me. Now, Erie deemed and knew it was not my fault. But I guess his insurance is trying to pull it. Oh, he, it was his fault. My client didn't do it, blah, 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 blah. So it's just holding up my, my reimbursement, my deductible. So I'm, I'm kind of a little mad. <sighs> was that... That was someone's stomach. Not mine. I'm so full for him. Could have been mine. Ah. Oh, guys, it's it's been it's been a crazy night. Yeah. Like I said, I wish I wish one of you guys would call in and say, hey, let's see, Fred, Eddie's. Now with these oh. diner planes. Yeah, actually, the GF's cousin, cousin, is one of the cooks at these diner. Um, we've been there a couple times now. I got a request to go back to do to do a food review, so I'm just buying time when I go back to these diner. Um, do I think these diner does not take cash? And like, if you don't have cash on you, they do. How, however, have a um... ATM outside? Yeah, I know. <clears throat> but these diner last time I was there actually no the sec two times ago the GF and I got their French toast and man I, like we got the French toast platter type thing with the potatoes and the oh yeah it was good bacon oh. so how are we still coming crystal clear there FP yeah cool cool no interference that's what I like 
And, uh, I don't know, guys, I'm just starting to run down. It's been a long day. I've been moving since 8.30 this morning. I had to get my taxes. I dropped off my taxes, get my taxes done. Uh, yeah, but there's, getting to that time. But there are two places I want to get to. And that's Yako's Hot Dogs down in Lehigh, Lehigh Valley. And I want to go to Bartari. I keep threatening that to the GF we're going to Bartari one of these nights. We'll get there eventually this year. Uh, but all right, guys, we're gonna kind of we're gonna wrap this down. Um, we've been going now for about an hour and thirty minutes. So I do want to thank you all for hanging out, commenting in the chats. Until next week. On behalf of the GF. FP and myself, be blessed and stay safe, everyone. Have a great night.